make sure you go find a comfortable place to tap letters for the next 15 minutes. I want you to win this thing tonight. Woo! Hey, It's Tuesday night, and although the universe is fighting over chicken sandwiches, but they really are. They're fighting over chicken sandwiches. So I want to know, what's your favorite fa How are you? I am your host, the queen of words, the lover of letters, Anna Roisman. You can find me here on social media, probably posting about whatever chicken sandwich I'm eating. That Don't forget that you can buy coins in the HQ shop at the bottom of the home page. I love you 12 puzzles. When you make it through the journey, you will win some of the prize, which is $2,000. Woo! You can go shopping with that money. Don't forget it, right? I stand an HQ shop. Also, you start tonight's game with five strikes on top of the strikes you already have from leveling up on HQ, which is probably low for some players, but unless you're a literal daily challenge expert, I don't know. You probably are on a high level. That's very impressive. Guess what time it is? It's time to spin that wheel around my face for some letters. I was fascinated to learn that today is National Radio Day. You know what I love most about radio? They're live, just like us, only they don't get to put their faces inside a wheel, okay? Come on. I tried to think back to the first time I ever listened to the radio, and I'm, it was probably like Mariah Carey fantasy. I don't know. You know, it's a medium of music and words, so hey, happy National Radio Day to you. You'll have to let me know what your first song memories were on the radio. But that's going to be for after the game because we have a game starting right now. It is time for the first puzzle of the night. The faster you solve, the more points you can earn. Are you ready to get this party started? I know I am. Here we go. Puzzle one. Your first hint is exciting way to win. Here, let me help. I got this. Ready? Type in the letters K, E, and M. Oh, this is so exciting because let's say you're not winning and then out of the blue, you start to do better. The crowd goes wild. I feel like this happens often in sports games, but it could happen in a words game too. An exciting way to win. Maybe some of you had this happen in trivia just a little, a few minutes ago. I'm talking about a comeback. Of come back 74,406, solve the puzzle 6,344, eliminated, but you know what? You could come back into this game. You could just buy back, come back in, and then, hey, maybe you'll win tonight. Maybe it'll be worth it. I hope so. Also, I know you like game shows because you're here playing with me, and get but Thursday night is game show night. Ooh, on HQ, we've got trivia at 9, words at 9.30. It's going to be fun. Come on down. Yeah. Also, I asked you on social media what my favorite place is to visit in the summer. A lot of you said Maine. You are right, because it is close. But that's because my summer camp is there, Camp Vega. Shout out to Mike Munster and Caitlin Rose, who got it right. You knew my camp name. You nailed it. All right, there are a lot of things in life that we continue to uphold because they are a tradition. What is this traditional meal? Look, it may not be a traditional meal in your house, but it is in a lot of other places. And if you like things spicy, ooh, baby, it's the 
a meal for you. Let me tell you. It goes great with a side of rice, beans, maybe margaritas. Traditional meal. Perfect for today. Because I'm talking about Taco Tuesday. Check this out. Taco Tuesday. LeBron James. He's so excited. It's Taco Tuesday. Yeah, it is. Is anybody here as excited as LeBron James? Throw that taco emoji in the chat if you got that right. 62,752 got it right. 11,780. It is not Burger Tuesday. It is Taco Tuesday. Go make a taco and then keep playing words with me. I wonder, though, if people do, like, burrito birthdays. Is that a thing? That could be a thing. It's like a big taco, and, you know, speaking of big, for some big money, type in this pretty big bird. Not the character. <laughs> Not big bird. Here's some buzz about this word. It's got a few names. It's kind of a hybrid of two birds. Okay, and not only is it big, but it does like to feed off of decaying animals. I'm <laughs> sorry, but it's true. Pretty big bird. And the answer is turkey vulture. Take a look at what this looks like. Ooh, it kind of has a turkey face with a vulture body. And you know what? It's a turkey vulture, so that makes a lot of sense. 52,718. You flew through that puzzle faster than a turkey vulture. 10,365 eliminated. The vulture got you on that one, unfortunately. Hey, you can still you can still buy back in. We're still early in the game, right? All right, some of you tell me, a lot of you do this, some of you tell me that the East Coast is not the best coast, but joke's on you, because I've lived on both. Are you familiar with this West Coast landmark? It's something you've seen in photos and movies forever, if you haven't seen it in person. And speaking of movies, this landmark is in the land of movies. It also, it lives on a mountain. That helps. If you like to hike, I bet you've seen the Hollywood sign. Ooh, la la, we're going to Hollywood. Hollywood, where all the stars are. The Hollywood sign, very famous sign. 41,425 solved the puzzle. 11,661 eliminated. Maybe you're just on the East Coast. Maybe you haven't seen that Hollywood sign. Although... It is on a lot of postcards, <laughs> right? One nice thing about living in L.A., the weather. It's gorgeous all the time. You can spend your days and nights in the outdoors. But be careful. You might need this outdoor assistance. I definitely do. I get so allergic to these. So this is something that is necessary assistance for me. And maybe you. I don't know. Comes in a variety of different kinds. We've got sprays and lotions and candles. The outdoor assistance I'm looking for is mosquito repellent. Ooh, tough one. Mosquito repellent. 26,886 got it right. 15,199. You got bitten by the mosquito. You couldn't repel it that time. That's tough. That's a tough word. Cues are tough in words. I totally, I get it. I do, and mosquitoes are even tougher. I know that you're probably a night person like me because you're here, I'm here, we're playing this game, the late game, so tell me this nighttime occurrence besides playing HQ because this usually happens after you're really tired and you go to bed or you fall asleep on a couch. I don't know your life. Sometimes a little bit of both, right? Now let me say there is an abbreviation for this occurrence. And it happens during your sleep. I'm talking about rapid eye movement, also known as REM. It's one of the stages of sleep. It's when your eyes flutter and they move rapidly. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? I'm not falling asleep, I promise. 20,257 of you are moving on. You solved the puzzle and 7,990 eliminated on rapid eye movement. You know what I'm gonna call this one? REP, for rapid eye puzzles. That's cute, because I feel like I blinked and you're already halfway through the game. 
You're solving it so fast, you're cruising through. But don't get too ahead of yourself, okay? Take Taylor's advice. Because why not take Taylor's advice, right? Look what she made you do. She made you tap the letters. I don't know about you, but I'd solve in 22 seconds, of course. I'm talking about seconds. I'm also talking about Taylor's advice, okay? Not Kanye's advice. <laughs> right? And the answer is, you need to calm down. Here, she's going to tell you. You need to calm down and you need to find a pool to calm down in. What a great video. 17,177. You are still hot in the game, so you can dive into the pool later on. 4,030 eliminated. You accidentally remembered in trivia when people picked the Kanye Taylor moment from the VMAs, right? And you you just couldn't get it out of your head. Um, it's okay. It's all right. Hey, remember earlier when we had that glorious first puzzle comeback? Well, we're taking a trip back to it because I want to know what is said after a comeback. Hmm. Tricky. Could be any kind of comeback. One where you win. One where you literally make it back into the limelight. Either way, let me tell you, if you had any issues before, they're probably gone. They've gone away. Right? This is after the comeback. You've already come back strong. And for everyone who didn't believe in you, you can say, Who's laughing now? Right? Some of you, I know, were probably out on puzzle one. You used an extra life. And now you're still in this game. You're far into this game. Who's laughing now? Right? 14,851 are still in it. To win this thing, 2,900 eliminated on who's laughing now. I know what you're thinking. Wow, Anna, what a sight, right? On your phone right now? Wow. But I got to be honest. Rumor has it there's another place to find beauty. Uh, what? It was right here, I thought, all the whole time on your phone. Well, find the right letters first, and then maybe you'll find beauty. And by beauty, I mean an answer. I think we can all agree on the fact that beauty and art is subjective, which is a great hint for this. Where can you find beauty? Why, it is in the eye of the beholder. Of course it is. My fluttering eyes are only seeing beauty now. 13,633. You're looking beautiful. You're still in the game. 1,842 eliminate eye of the beholder. Whoever sees something that's beautiful, that is beautiful. It's up to you. Okay, right now, it's still summer, right? It's beautiful out. Hopefully, you spent the day sipping lemonade. Hey, happy National Lemonade Day. Mm -hmm. By a pool. But right now, I am looking for another seasonal activity. It could be from any season. This one is always a favorite of mine. There's just something special about getting something new, right? Even if it's small, it's still new. And small, I mean like maybe a pen or a pencil. When you go back to school shopping, check this out. Oh, back to school, back to school. Thank you, Adam Sandler, to bring us back to school, back to school, back to school shopping is the answer. 11,724. You got it right. 2,426 eliminated. And what are you going to buy when you go to back to school shopping? You got to let me know in the chat. I'm buying a trapper keeper. Do people still use trapper keepers? What a fun word. Trapper keeper. They were great. I'm going to get like a neon one. It's going to be awesome. I'm not even in school. Look, we've already established that it's Tuesday. That means we got to keep the tradition alive of tacos. But what if we elevate it a little bit to fancy taco Tuesday? Woo! Now we're talking because it's fancy. This is something you may find at a restaurant. You can also give your input on how you prefer it. I mean, anything that is customized is already fancy. And this Fancy Taco Tuesday, this is customized. The answer is, oh, I have some here for you. Table side guacamole. Ooh, you see that? That was a good dunk. This was made table side. Somewhere 
not near me at another table, but you know what? It's here now. 5,607 solved the puzzle. 6,917! You were so close, and then you just got scooped out of the puzzle. Oh, right before, right before the 12th one. That table side guacamole, it didn't make it to your table tonight. You are so close, though. If you are still in this game, you are so close to having that little extra money to order the table side guac because you landed in the final puzzle. That means money is coming up next. We started tonight with over 90,000 Taco Tuesday teammates. Ooh, how's that for alliteration? And now the logophiles survive. Here we go. You got this. Your final hint of the night is popular genre. Hmm. It's popular on multiple media platforms. It's kind of nuts that we love it so much. But we do. And so for your final act, solve this. Don't let it solve you. Popular genre. And it's no jinx tonight. The answer is true crime documentary. Woo! True crime documentary. Things just got a little scary in here because 7,617 of you are taking home the HQ words win tonight. Oh, it's true. It's not crime at all. It's just true money tonight. Woo! You did it. You're taking home. What's your favorite true crime documentary? Mine is the jinx. That is. I'll tell you why on social media after. I can't say it here live, but you'll find out. Oh, and you're going home with 27 cents tonight. I love it. You're, it's more than a quarter. It is more. It's more than two coins. Chad 1M, word up. Taking home first place tonight. Kuvambans. I think I got that right. You're going home with sec in second place tonight. And Vic Kalav in third place. Look at that. The trio of very fast, fast players. You did it. That is the game for tonight. I want to congratulate everybody, all of the players from East Coast to the West Coast and beyond. Don't let anyone tell you you need to calm down, okay? I want to see videos of you dancing around your houses while you win HQ words. I love it. Send them to me. Remember, if beauty is in the eye of the beholder, then no one can judge you for your beautiful photos of that table side guacamole. Hey, I've got some here. I'll share it with you. I will. You want a bite? Uh, I got some for you. I have been your host, Anna Roisman. Find me here on social media, or I love to make jokes. I'm probably going to eat this on Instagram afterwards. Who's going to be laughing now? Someone, and it's probably going to be my mom. I will see you back here on Thursday night. Don't forget, it is game show night on HQ, 9.30 p.m. I will be here. It's going to be so fun. It's games within games within games. And hey, never forget my favorite saying and yours. You can't spell Vanna without Anna. Boom! Good night. I love you so much. Goodbye.